This is Kuvan Cassis for IFL TV. We're at City Hall here in Hull for the weigh-in for Isla Tigers. Uh, fighting on the bill, Richard Towers against Lucas Brown. Big heavyweight contest. With me, I've got Richard Towers, the big man. You went off the other day, Richard. What happened, man? I was weighing. And... Yeah, you know me. I'm just uh, I'm a bit of a bit of a, a sly fox when it comes to um, communicating. You know, I don't like to uh, talk too much. I don't like to congregate too much. You know, I'm only joking. Now we just <laughs> we just had to get off. You know, it was just one of those things. <coughs> got back to got back to Sheffield. Um, uh, Dom had to get back for a few things, so um, I, I just totally forgot. But um, as I said before, sorry about that. Brother. No, no, listen, yeah. it is what it is. I looked over, yeah. you were talking to someone, so I thought I was safe for a few minutes. Yeah, two no, minutes, I noticed. That's that's, and if you yeah. noticed, I told you I'm a bit of a sly fox. Uh, soon you looked at me, I went, Right, let's go. And then as soon as you looked away, boom, <laughs> Johnny Nelson out the back door. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, intriguing contest this is. I think um, pretty much a lot of people are split with their opinion about who's going to win this fight. So, um, and you guys are friends as well, isn't it? I mean, I said to Lucas Brown the other day, we all like to see rolled up press conferences and a bit of heat and... A bit of controversy, all, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, listen, end of the day, what really matters is what happens on the night. Yep, exactly. So, you two, unbeaten record, mm. on the line here. Yep. Uh, ready to, like, put it all on the line, Yeah, basically. both putting our, our zeros on the line, you know, and it's one of those things, uh, Coogan, We've, we've both, well, we should have both trained very hard. I know I've trained very hard. Lucas looks like he's trained very hard. And knowing him as a, as a fella, you know, I, I think he will have trained very hard. And the thing is, it all comes down to that one night. Tomorrow night, when we're getting there, that bell goes. And then it's down to business. It's as simple as this, you know. I think, you know, a lot of people are on the fence simply because of Lucas's power. Um, and because... You know, I've, I've got an unbeaten record as well. But I think it's the best thing that's ever happened to me, you know, not boxing for so long, because I wouldn't have had the opportunities that I've had. I don't mean to keep going on about it, but let's face it, you know, this, these are significant experiences in anybody's life, especially mine. Uh, training with Kalichko, training with David A, um, training with Deontay Wilder, Marius Wack, um, Derek Chisora, Tyson Fury. Um, that's just to name a few. You know, I've trained with everybody. I've been all around the world sparring, picking up different uh, things along the way, different experiences, and and here I am right to this moment now. And you know, I've got this feeling inside me, the feeling that you can't possibly know until you've been in this position, until you've been where we are now. You know, and people say, people might. I heard someone say something about, yeah, well, you know, Richard's not felt the nerves that you feel before a fight in a long time. He's not felt the anticipation sat getting your hands wrapped and things like that Psh, let me tell you <laughs> there's no more more a situation you will get all those feelings 100% heightened than when you're sat in a hotel room on your own right not knowing what to expect because you're facing the super champion the next morning you know I don't need to paint the picture any more brighter than that you know I've been with these guys I've trained with the guys I've spoke to the guys sat picked the brains you know and I've had these guys try and take my head off and as you can see you know all jokes aside I've not took too many shots you know I take I put it all down to my man Brendan Ingle my man Dominic you know John Ingle you know I've been blessed to be part of such an era I've been blessed to be part of what I like to call the new generation and now it's time to fulfill the legacy of my of my path and it starts with Lucas Brown you know nobody else um, and I mean business is as simple as that he said something interesting in the press conference that he was jealous of the level of sparring you'd had which was quite interesting because yeah. you know the, the level of fighters that you'd had it's because he's not based here so obviously yeah. you've got the you know the advantage of being around all them guys you just mentioned so uh, what did oh you yeah yeah well um, you know Lucas like I said you know Lucas uh, is forever the diplomat with um the things he says, you know, he's forever the gentleman. Um, and, you know, Lucas is saying, that, yeah, he's jealous. And he don't mean jealous. He means he, he appreciates mm. what it will have done for me, you know, all these experiences. Um, which, like I said, you know, I'd, all my concern is with is with tomorrow night. I want to get in there, do my job efficiently. And I want to I wanna exercise all I've trained, all I've worked for, uh, and bring it all to that one moment. And it all leads to that. It's as simple as that. So, you know, I, I just can't wait to get in there. 
Um, you haven't fought for what, 16, 17 months? Yeah. Your last fight against Gregory Tony. Yeah. Uh, what's been the actual sole reason for the inactivity in that time? Well, there's been a different, a number of different reasons, you know, chest infections, uh, ear infections, you know, all things what flu, colds, all things what you accumulate as, as you go on, you know, in in, in, in your path as an athlete it's there's just things what happen because we're pushing our bodies to the extreme or you should be if you if you're a serious athlete and when you do it's this is one of the unfortunate um, things that, that that comes along with the with the territory you know you, you pick up cold you pick up flu you pick up chest infections ear infections the all these tab and it's so funny because you know I've, I've often heard people say you know, um, fight other fighters say, "Yep, camp's gone brilliantly well. It's gone uh, perfect, 100%. Sparring went brilliantly. Training went brilliantly." And it's and you know, without swearing, it's total BS because you know, life don't happen like that. Especially an athlete's life don't happen like that. Mm. Nothing goes perfect. Nothing goes to 100% plan. You know, the best you can hope for is to come out fresh and clean and ready, like I feel now for tomorrow night. That's the best you can hope for. Um, so you know all the, this, these different accumulation of different things it, it happens you know and it's nothing to look, look sad about it's nothing to look dim about you know because if all if these things didn't happen to me then um, I probably wouldn't have got the experiences I've got like I said sparring with Klitschko sparring with David A Deontay Wilder um, um, Anthony Joshua I forgot to mention you know, just because there's been so many is the only reason I forgot to mention. I've, I've, I've picked up a good, a good, good profile, experienced profile, and I just, I'm just praying to God, you know, I'm just going to perform on the night, as simple as that, Cougar. You can tell him you've been sparring with me as well. No, no, I, I refuse that. I refuse to spar with you. You refuse to spar And I'm me. refusing again. Is that you, you get fucked up, Richard, is that why? Well, you know, I didn't want to swear, but yeah, seeing as you, you put it so, here, seen no as you put it so aggr aggressively, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, Kogan, you I've got my hands full enough with Lucas. You know, I, you're making me nervous now. I don't even want to look at you. Well, listen, you fight Lucas. I said to you, I'd fight the winner of a pair of Yeah, them. yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> listen, Richard, thank you very much for talking to us. Thanks a lot, pal. I appreciate you, Kogan. No problem. Um, best of luck tomorrow. Some thank you, sir. intriguing thing. No one really knows what's going to happen, so yeah. let the bombs fly away. Yes. All right. Kogan can do Shall I do what, what, what Deontay does? I'm not a sharp bomb squad, but I'm a bot. You know what? If you did it in Hull, they may actually call the bomb squad. I know. And then leave me it, leave it. I'm not going to do it. In cell block H tonight. There's a reason why Deontay is Deontay, because he's got kahunas the size of basketballs. You know. You uh, two went out, didn't you? You was out. I'm just <laughs> oh, weird. Just to walk around and see like Richard Towers and Deontay Oh, Wilder. this guy's my brother, man. You know, I say a brother from another mother. We might, have a, we might as well have the same mother, you know. This guy, I love this guy. You know, we spent so much time together, you know. Yeah, I learned so much from Deontay, you know, personally, uh, professionally. You know, uh, Deontay, man, I got love for you, bro. You know that. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's God good bless, guy. bro. All right, this is Coogan Cassis, Richard Towers. So tune in tomorrow night. Live and Sky Sports Towers v Brown. Be there. Nice one. Thank you, sir.